Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6, Part 55. In this segment, buy a couple more cars, starting with the Los Elise 111R because it's one make time. Gee, I wonder what this race is gonna be. <laughs> That's first race. So, International B1 make races, let's go. First up, the Elise Trophy, and we have the Corvette Festival afterwards. So this is gonna be interesting, racing Elises around fucking Brands Hatch for three laps, so let's go. The Elise 111R Showdown, pretty much. I really like the how these one make races have AI fields of one specific model. Really makes them feel more like, you know, spec races and shit, which is fucking cool, man. So yeah, full field of Elise 111Rs. And there's all that shit, so let's go to Brands Hatch for three laps. Boy, it's Elise time, I'll time for Elise, probably time for fucking oversteer everywhere. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, specific Elise that was in the hell that was the uh, Top Gear Challenge in GT5, so... Oh fucking boy. Oh well. As long as I drive this car, like, smoothly, I should be fine. This isn't gonna be nearly as hard as the Top Gear thing, cause, you know, rubber banding and all that shit, so yeah. My Elise is best Elise because oversteer. Excuse me, pardon me. I've just had very bad experiences with driving various Lotuses in various games, because, uh... Oversteer. This guy's in third gear. Now he isn't. Okay. Nikes, okay, we're good. Yeah. It's not that the leases are bad, I actually like them, it's just I suck at driving them. Alright, we made it up to 7th of this 10 car field. I just realized it's only 10 cars, not 20. Seven point four behind the leader. That's good. Now I'm not using any of the fifteenth anniversary cars. Personal rule. I just choose to not use them because I wanna basically I wanna play through the game as if I didn't have them, like any special cars. Given to me. You know, you know. Probably could have stayed in third gear for this turn. Oh well. Ooh. Yeah, we reached the end of the speedometer. Only goes up to 160k. Oh fuck. Hello, ass of shooting. Shouting. Shout out the devil. I don't know. What are memes? Felipe. Good name for the leader. Okay, so far I've driven this very well. I'm actually a little surprised. Then again, I haven't been pushing this thing at all. Like, at all. I'm sure if I was actually pushing, I'd be all over the goddamn place right now. Okay, up to the podium for the beginning of the final lap. Only two seconds back of Felipe. 
Ooh, a little oversteer, but we're good. Laid on the brakes, but we made it. Around the outside of Anderson. Mr. Anderson! Always have to make that fucking reference. Always. Don't start, Q. Motherfucker. No memes allowed. And we're in the lead. Got around Felipe. It's because my car is the only car with a number plate, that's why I'm superior. I like how Mr. Anderson like kept his, the same gimmick when he went to TNA, but just changed his name. It's cute. I'm a real race car. Look, I have a number plate. Mr. Unemployment! Meanwhile... I win. I win, I win, I am the winner, 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 I'm the winner! Got it. By one second over Felipe. Oh wow, fucking 8th, 9th, and 10th, way the fuck behind. Damn. Alright, there we go. 24 seconds. That 12 second gap from 9th to 10th, though, or 8th to 9th, though. Er. Okay, I'm all kinds of confused. Was this a 10 car grid or a 12 car grid? A 10 car grid, okay. 7th to 8th. Shit, man. Anyways. First. Uh, one make down. So to our second and final International B one make race. It's the Corvette Festival. And we're doing five laps at the Big Willow. And I'm using the C7 Stingray. Because guess what everyone else is using? The C7 Stingray. Despite this being available to all Corvettes, you know. I gotta be... I gotta be cool, yeah? Yo. 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 So, two Willow Springs, the big Willow, Stingrays, 12 cars in this race, alright. Led by K. Alonzo, not related to Fernando, unfortunately, because he's Canadian. The K clearly stands for Canadian, Canadian Alonzo, once again racing at 7 a.m because every race around this track has to take place at 7 fucking a.m. God damn, this car looks awesome. You know what the, uh... You know what these taillights remind me of? That, like, black part off to the side? Reminds me of, uh... I think Ultimate Warrior. I think that's who I'm thinking of. His, uh, face paint. Wait, it goes off his eyes? Fuck me! So we're gonna go going off, off the track. All right. Shitty dicks. Yes, Will Springs was added to this game. First time in GT. This is a C7. C7 Stingray. Oh fuck! Hello, Dodson. There we go, finally up to 11th, huh? Oh, that bright, large-ass 7 a.m. sun. Thought about going to 5th gear, but... Didn't need it. I like Willow Springs, it's a cool place. I wish the Horse Thief Mile was in this game. 
but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, which one's better? Eh, I prefer the C7 over the C6. More aggressive looking. That doesn't mean C6 is bad by any means, because C6 is awesome. I just love the more aggressive styling of the C7. And horse Thief Mile. That shit was fun in Shift. C7 spit. Is this 7 speed? I don't even know. No, it is? Okay. Yeah. yeah, like, at first, I didn't particularly care for these taillights on the C7, but the more and more I look at them, the more and more I like them. Why did I go to 5th gear? Why are these? Why are the top four so far ahead of everyone else? I don't know, but I'm gonna fucking catch them. Holy shit, those gauges! Ooh, ooh! It has the fucking windscreen display. Holy shit! That's cool. That's not cool. Going off track is not cool. All right, we're good. Excuse me, pardon me, uh, Ishida. Oh, fuck. Damn. Still 10 seconds behind the leader. Oh well, good thing I have two and a half laps of spaghetti. It's better top gear Mythbusters. Top gear by a fucking landslide. Never care about Mythbusters. Yeah, windscreen display is so fun, sir. Windscreen display is so, you know, it's easier to look at what speed you're going, so you don't have to constantly look down. Also because so fun, sir. But yeah, easier to see your speed. That's what I'm guessing. The, uh... Reasoning behind the windscreen display. Either way, it's pretty fucking cool. And I like it. A lot. I like how technically this car has fucking three speedometers, because it has the uh, the digital one in the tack, the windscreen one, digital, and then the analog speedometer off to the left. Like, goddamn. Bitches need to know how fast you're going. Oh, oh shit. Hey, I've caught this elite trio. Finally. Actually, it's a quartet, because I'm in fifth. Fuck. But the rubber banding is happening, so... We're good. Not sure why I went to third gear there. I didn't need that. So many South Americans like Mexicans. Wait a minute. What cool stuff is better Twitch let you do? Uh, gives you better emote or more emotes. Uh, dark theme, a lot of more options and shit. There's no reason to not get it, basically. All right, Rubio. Who also got around Alonzo? 
Excuse me, car. I have a text and message. Most likely from Jamie. Central America is not an actual continent. It's Central America is part of North America, so... It's just called Central America because fucking I don't know why. It's easier to refer to it as that. Because, you know... Yeah. I'm not a geography expert, so, you know, I can't tell you everything. I just know that much, I'm sorry. Whoop. Yep. Yeah, only USA is North America, clearly. I mean, it's America, come on. America! Also, I win. By one and a third seconds exactly over Rubio. Nice. Nice, I say. And there we go, 18.4 to last place Dodson. Okay. Well, there back up to a million. Made a return on my investments. Maybe slightly less money, but we're back up to a million, so. There's the International B1 Make Race is done. Which just leaves the final thing to do in this section, the International A License. We'll be getting that in the next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more GT6.